Okay, five on five. Uh, a general themed small sided game session. The, the main theme is winning the game, right? Whatever it takes to win the game. So if you're three nil up, does the game need managing differently as to when you're nil nil? Conditions, chaps, conditions. Nobody to start with, nobody beyond the white line, beyond the cone, right? You need to score in here, nobody defending beyond there. Well played. Go, 1-1. One, one. When there are no goalkeepers around, we tend to use mini goals, all the smaller goals. I'm going to use the mini goals this afternoon and I will be changing the conditions of the games every three, four, five minutes, depending on what my focus is. Second time round, halfway line denoted by the mannequins, must have one player in the attacking half at any given time. One game up for the Reds. Win the game. Well tried, well tried. You now have to have two in the attacking half at any given time, right? You can still have everybody else attacking. When you attack, you can all break into there, you can all count, you can all overload, but two in the attacking half at any given time. Ready? Play. Must leave two up. Well tried, Charles. Great pass. Aaron, Aaron, love it, love it. Good intention, good awareness to go forwards, thought process, shoot, love it. You get pressure on the ball, it's harder for them to get out. So that, that being the case, when you're in possession, as early as you can from your half, do what? Look forwards. Play it, but look forwards. Look into those two attackers and then join. Because you can create an overload in the other half, not your own half. So the thought process needs to be, can we go forwards and support quickly? Way you go. The first game is generally just all in, get them playing, get them warmed up, get them used to the size of the area, etc, etc. And then it will be along the lines of they'll be restricted into which areas they can go into. So they might have to leave one attacker at all times in the attacking half. So we're looking to build from the back and create a situation where once you get into the attacking half, if you're brave enough and you want to leave that guy, you've now got an overload in your favour 5v4. We'll then more than likely add another one, so you have to leave two up all the time. So we're just creating different problem-solving situations, both in possession of the ball and out of possession.